Hello people of the interwebs, this is Luke Moore bringing you another toy review. And I figured, since the Soul Jai joke in Dragon's Word is just around the corner, I figured why not review the figure that started the Soul Jai joke in Power Rangers line, and which is the Megazord itself. Now, I'm gonna say this right now, this is hands down my favorite toy of 2017. I just really like this thing. Now, before I get into it, Let's start off with the package, which is going to be a little bit hard to show off because it's huge. It's just gigantic. I have to scoop back the camera to get into frame. There we go. So here's the box for it. Uh, there is a Japanese version that's the Zoo Ranger logo and different artwork, but I live in the U.S., so I got the U.S. packaging. So we got the Soul Jaijokin logo right here, Saban's Mind Morphin Power Rangers, uh, cool artwork of the Megazord, and then an autograph of, I'm guessing, the person who drew it. Uh, warnings nobody cares about, Tomashi Nation's Bandai. On the side, we got the Megazord. On the other side, we got... Uh, the five dinosaurs on the bottom. We got uh, tank mode, and on the top we got uh, the Megazord's face, and on the back we have uh, bios for all the dinosaurs, uh, what you can do with it. Megazord activated, and of course the bluefin distributed sticker. So, yeah. That's it with the packaging, and let's start off with the Dinozords. Okay, so here we got the five Dinozords, which I can barely fit on the surface. I need a bigger one. So, going in morphing order, we'll start off with the Mastodon, which looks pretty good. Um, all of them do have metal on them, so it makes them give them a little bit of weight. So that's really good. And all of them do have letters on them, like... It has an M for Mastodon or Mammoth, so that's kind of very creative. Uh, his articulation is pretty basic. He's got three points at the trunk, so I can go like that. His head moves up and down. And you can get him to stand on his back legs, but you just gotta make sure that these uh, flaps don't pop out. So you can make him balance like that. So, yeah, it's pretty much it for him. Uh, last time looks pretty good. The Pterodactyl, which, again, looks pretty good. Um, the Pink Ranger Zord is usually the most basic one, uh, with a few exceptions. Uh, the head is very pointy and sharp, so be careful with that. And the front plate is a very reflective metal, so that's really good. Uh... Her articulation, again, is pretty basic. The head moves up and down. And the neck can move up and down, too. It's pretty loose on mine. And you can make the wings flap if you want, but they never did that in the show, so it's kind of like whatevs. Uh, it does have a P here for pterodactyl, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, overall, it's a nice little Zord. Triceratops, which is pretty nice. Uh, it does have TR for Tricera and TP for Top, so that's pretty clever. Uh, for the articulation, his mouth opens and closes. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it open. You kind of have to jam your fingernail into this little ridge here to get it open. So that's kind of a downfall, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Uh, head box around it is on a ball joint and the tail can spring forward and these little gun bells can rotate around so you can kind of pose it uh blasting an enemy so that's pretty cool um it is plain in here i think there's supposed to be a little detail in here but for some reason they just decide not to do it and one cool thing is that the tusk 
or the horns, I mean, you can pull them out and then it's on this little tiny chain. So that's pretty cool. And it makes it harder to lose them. And to put them back, you just slowly put it in here. So there you go. Come on. Work with me. Jesus Christ. There we go. So yeah. Triceratops. Nice sword. The Sabertooth Tiger, which is probably the best one out of all of them. Uh, if you have the Soul Jijokin Voltron, which came out the same time as this, then you know what to expect with it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It does have S for Sabertooth and T for Tiger. It's awesome. Uh, it's articulation. The mouth, again, can open and close, and it's very easier than Triceratops. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. It can rock all over the place. And the neck can move. I really love those ratchet joints. Uh, the legs can spring forward. Uh, it has a bend at the knee. Uh, has an ankle pivot. Backside, same thing. Go forward, back. Has a joint at the knee. Toe hinge. And again, the cannon or the tail can spring forward. And it extends too, so you can kind of get excited. <laughs> so yeah. It's a pretty nice little Zord. This is probably my... My favorite out of all of them. And last but not least, we got the Tyrannosaurus, which looks pretty good. Uh, he's got T on his chest for Tyrannosaurus, but uh, he does have an I and G on his legs, and I don't really know what that means. Maybe it has something to do with Zoo Ranger, but I really don't know. Uh, his articulation is probably the second best. Uh, his mouth can open and close, and they actually molded the mouth cannon, so that's really cool. Uh, head can move up and down, uh, does not rotate, uh, but the race does rotate a full 360. I really love those ratchet joints, I swear. Uh, the arms do have a little more moving right there and I guess you can say it is a double jointed because it moves in both two parts uh, the wrist can uh, rock and the thumb I'm guessing it's a thumb can move actually both the hand and the thumb can move so you can open up the hands like that uh, legs can spread out like this. Uh, the thigh can move a full 360. Uh, does bend at the knee. And he has a ankle bend. And he does have five joints at the tail. So, yeah. So yeah, this and the Save to Tiger have really good articulation. And that's not all with him, because if you open this, you'll find cannons. And getting them in and staying in is a little bit of a tassel, so don't just slam it when you get them in there. Just be careful when you close them. Close them up. And these cannons right here can actually act as feet for the pterodactyl. You got a little hinge right here, and these just slide in like so. So there. Now the pterodactyl can stand up. So, there are the dinosaurs. Now there's two modes that they can go into. The first mode we're going to take a look at is tank mode, which we'll do right now. Okay, so to get them in tank mode, first you take the Sabertooth Tiger. Uh, close the mouth, 
Fold up the fangs. Uh, fold up the tail. Uh, fold up the front arms. Make sure they're even. And then fold up the back legs. And uh, fold down this little flap to expose the port. That. Triceratops, what you gotta do is collapse the sides, push in the wheels, and fold in the tail. Now, you wanna make sure that the longer, skinnier part is facing upwards, just to fill in that part a bit more. And then, once again, fold in that little tab to reveal the port. Hopefully this fits. Next, the Tyrannosaurus. Fold up the arms. Uh, fold in the legs. Before you do that, you gotta pull out this little port here. And then slide them on. Like that. And then you gotta push them so this joint like folds out. There. And then you just slide them in. Now, for some reason, uh, blue is very loose. It doesn't really stay in. It does stay in, but it's just not as sturdy. And then slide in yellow. So you go, we got this so far. Let's uh, zoom in. There we go. I'll take Mastodon, take off the head. Uh, be very careful with it. Okay, got that set aside. Uh, undo all this, fold these. And it goes like that, 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 and then, oh, then you got to fold them up. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so make sure you fold this up before you fold in the tabs. All right, undo all this, and then open it up. The ratchet joints, man, I love it. They just clip it on. It doesn't really clip on the back, it's mainly the sides. So you just do that. And like that. There we go, make sure everything is lined up straight. Then you want to take uh, the cannons. Right there. And then plug them into the front. And then you're gonna fold the uh, this piece out to get this hinge. Oh, close the uh, Triceratops mouth. And then take the mammoth head. Uh, you're gonna fold in all the tabs. And then fold this handle part out Kind of like this, and then it's just gonna peg in. Just kind of work with it until you get in, like that. There you go. And then finally, for the pterodactyl, go to the back. You're gonna flip out these two tabs. And then you're going to fold in the wings for the pterodactyl. Now, if you're facing like this, you got to do the right wing first, and then the left wing. Because if you do it vice versa, it's not going to be fully flushed. So, do like that. Two little clips right here, right there. 
Just try to get it at a 90 degree angle and plug it in. There you go. This is there we got tank mode. Now they usually don't do this mode. I mean they did at the beginning, but as the series went on, they kind of skipped this mode entirely. But this mode's pretty cool. Uh like all f the five Zords eyeballs will like shoot lasers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, fortunately, since it doesn't have wheels, it can't really roll around, but it's not like you're going to be playing with this thing anyway. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking thing. It doesn't really look like a tank, though, but it still looks pretty good. And then, after this, they go into Megazord, which will go right now. Okay, so to get it into Megazord mode, first you take off the cannons. And then you fold in the hands like this. Or you fold in the feet to become hands. It's like Megazord Secrets has been initiated. And then what you do is you fold out the thumbs. Like that. And then take off the mammoth head. Take off the pterodactyl. Then fold in the tabs. And now there's a little tab. I can get it. So a little tab that will fold out like this. And then this folds out like that. And then you Disconnect the tail, and then this tab folds in. And then you strain it out, and then plug it into a clip right here. Then, what will happen, hopefully I get this right, is that you fold the triceratops and save the tiger's head, and, on, and yeah, the uh, Fang just came out. Uh, interesting fact, uh, the first time I tried putting into Megazord, I forgot to fold up the fangs, so this kind of popped out. That really sucked. And that's how it looks, for anyone who's curious. And then fold it inward, like that. And then there's a little tab here that you're gonna fold out. And then what you want to do is basically make it stand up straight. Like that. So I like that. And then you're gonna turn it this way. Like so. And then go to the back, plug the cannons in here, like so, form that tab, and then this part was really cool. Uh, take the pterodactyl, fold in the head, so it's flush in, and then these two tabs, fold them out. And then fold this back, fold this out, fold Tyrannosaurus head in, which poses the Megazord head, and then it's just going to clip on like so. And then finally, fold in the horns. And there you got the Megazord. And is it in frame? Yeah, so, whoop. so there you go. There's the Megazord in all of its glory. And it's pretty iconic, I would say. It is the first one. It is the one that most people are familiar with. And yeah, it looks pretty good. And his articulation is really good. It's probably the best articulation out of any Megazord toy. So the head can move full 360. Yeah, 
His arms can move forward and back, full 360. Uh, his arms can swing out. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got an elbow joint. And uh, it can also do that just due to transformation. Uh, the hands on ball joints, so it can roll around and swivel, and it can shift like that. Thumbs on a ball joint. Uh, each finger is separately articulated, so that's cool. And uh, the thighs can shift in and out. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to do. Uh, when you turn to make zone mode, uh, just collapse the legs together. And then it can kick forward. It has a knee joint. And it kind of has an ankle rocker. And yeah, they go with articulation. It's really great. Now, for accessories, he comes with a few. First, he comes with the mammoth shield. And to do that, you just take the mammoth head. Uh, fold back the trunk, pull out the handlebar, and they go. Now he, you can put it in his hand and hold it. Just like that. And the last accessory he comes with is the power sword, which is really cool. It's a bit big from other power swords that we got in the past, but it still looks really good. It's got the black handlebar and the gold detailing right here. And once again, it can fit in his hand. Just like that. Let me back the camera away. So yeah, this looks really good. Alright, so now let's get into the final thoughts of this thing. So overall, I freaking love this thing. I love the articulation, I love the paint job, I love the sculpt, uh, I love how the M now stands for Megazord, so that's pretty funny. Um, well like I said, this is my favorite toy of 2017, and uh, surprisingly it's still available. It's not like sold out on any websites or anything, so you can still pick it up for its original price. Now I know it is expensive, like $300, but trust me if it is worth it. Uh, so yeah, if you are an MMPR fan or just a Power Rangers fan in general, I highly recommend this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the Soul Jai Joke and Dragon's Wood, which I will be reviewing, so look out for that when it comes out. So. Yeah, it's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video whenever I make it. So, bye-bye, folks.